This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Celebrating a milestone birthday not long after a milestone anniversary, we'll join the party next. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Ken Kara, and this is your trifecta of local information on the air, online, and on the Samsung Productions app. Leading off, we have Friday headlines from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The Hazelton Area School Board voted last night to approve a new contract for teachers in the district. The 750 members of the Hazelton Area Education Association had been working without a contract for the past 13 months. Members of the school board voted unanimously to approve the new labor agreement. However, the new contract must now be approved by the teachers before it can take effect. Union leaders are expected to present the contract details to the teachers early next week. A huge celebration was held earlier this week at the Geno Murley Veterans Center in Scranton. Family and friends gathered to celebrate the 100th birthday of Ethel Phillips. She and her husband Merlin, a 97-year-old World War II Marine, reside at the center and had just celebrated their 75th wedding anniversary in June. I can't believe all this. I can't. I just. Mm, much too much. <laughs> much too much. Mm. What's the secret, Mom? Yeah, what's the secret to living 100 uh, years old? I'm trying to get the secret. Just living with this man. Uh, he's been so wonderful. 75 years. 75 years. Mm. When you first came into the room and you saw everybody here in the cake, what kind of went through your mind? I'm overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed. I can't believe all this. 100th birthday, that's, that's a big deal, uh, a centennial celebration. So uh, we, we pull out all the stops and we do a big birthday party. And, and I try to, to, to get to as many of these as, as I can personally uh, to, to congratulate our veterans' families you know, for, for their service and, and to just wish them a happy birthday. And, um, and then always, of course, uh, uh, it's a big hit to give them a, a birthday card from the governor. Uh, they always uh, cherish those as well. That was Major Tony Corelli, Pennsylvania's Adjutant General and the head of the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. A very happy and blessed birthday to Mrs. Ethel Phillips from everyone here at SSP TV. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Kind of a cloudy day to kind of a cloudy morning to start the day and then things cleared up a little bit. Here's our forecast now from the National Weather Service. Tonight will be mostly clear with a low of 50 degrees. Then on Saturday, the sun comes out. We'll have a high of 62 degrees. Cold at night with a low of 45, but mostly clear skies. Sunday is sunny with a high of 63. We'll get down to 52 at night. Partly cloudy skies, mostly sunny with a high of 69 on Monday. Monday night, partly cloudy, low of 56. Tuesday, a 30% chance of shower and thunderstorms partly sunny with a high near 72 and then a 30% chance of showers on Tuesday night with a low of 58 degrees. The Hazelton Area High School girls golf team made history in their second year of existence. The Lady Cougars won the school's first District 2 girls golf championship. Hazelton had the low score of 115 while second place North Pocono put up a 307. Marin Dremock hit a 76 and Grace Babinchek scored a 77. Olivia Misowitz had a 94 and Isabel Ritz had a 98. Congratulations to the entire team. In other action, Wyoming Seminary beat MMI 166 to 169 to win the double A. Wyoming Valley Conference Championship. Now a quick SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. The Hazelton area boys and girls won soccer matches against Nanakoke. Tamaqua and Pine Grove meet up next week in boys soccer with first place in Division I of the Skooka League on the line. Ian Dwar and Carter Frass scored as MMI won in boys soccer and the Lady Preppers picked up a win in girls tennis. Tamaqua lost in girls tennis and volleyball. Monoy Area won a Skooka League crossover girls volleyball match. Marion lost in Division I of the Skooka League. Shenandoah Valley and MMI were both swept. Hazelton Area lost to Abington Heights in field hockey in a close one, while the Cubs beat the Pirates to move one game ahead of the Brewers in the NL Central with three games left for both teams. 
The Cunningham Crusher is now the lead Cougar. Let me explain. Former Major Leaguer Russ Kanzler is now the head baseball coach at his alma mater, Hazleton Area High School. Kanzler's high school coach Jeff Antolik told the Standard Speaker, quote, as great as it is that we are getting a coach with Russ's level of baseball experience, it's even better for the kids in our school district to get someone with his character, integrity, and coaching skills, unquote. In other news, Bob Bertoni was named the Lady Cougars softball coach. He coached previously at Crestwood High School, Luzerne County Community College, and Kutztown University. Some great matchups during week six of the high school football season. Tamaqua and North Schuylkill both have Schuylkill League Division I games on the road as they both try to stay perfect this year. Tamaqua has yet to give up a point. Marion, Monoy area and Shenandoah Valley all have Schuylkill League Division II games coming up. And then for Hazleton area, they'll travel to Delaware Valley for a non-league game and a chance to go 3-3. Three and three. End your week with our in-depth feature stories. We have some serious work and cute animals up next as we visit the Carbon County Animal Shelter. And in sports, we focus on the fall edition of the Weatherly Hill Climb and what the event means to the borough. Watch SSP TV in HD on Service Electric Cable Vision Channel 513 in Hazleton and in SD on Channel 13. Now here's your Friday social news. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. SAFE will be having a 5K run tomorrow at 9 a.m. Registration will start at 8 a.m. This event is at Francis Slocum State Park. For more information, you can go to autismsafe.org. Tomorrow night, HARP will be having a night at the races at the Elks Lodge in Hazleton. Doors open at 6 p.m. Post time is 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 in advance and $10 at the door. This Sunday, September 30th, there will be a Show Your Stripes 5K that will benefit the Ronald McDonald House. This event will be at 10.30 a.m. at Nayog Park in Scranton. Cost is $15 per person. There will be a ACS Look Good, Feel Better session on Monday, October 1st at 12 noon at the Hazleton Cancer Treatment Center. You must call in advance to register. You can call 1-800-227-2345. And there will be a walk with a doctor at the Greater Hazleton Rails to Trails on Thursday, October 4th at 3.30 p.m. The walk will be about one mile up the trail and then back. For more information, call 1-88-402-LVHN. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of Barbara J. Price of West Oakdale. Services will be private under the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton.